people welcome back to another video on the J Tiro channel and you look and see I'm in my Arsenal shirt I'm in high spirits you know why because it's happy Saint Totterings day we just battered them one there over there in the lane 2-0 win away from home against Tottenham I couldn't be happier Arsenal with a blast it great performance today honestly I couldn't be happier I was so happy to watch that game I felt so comfortable, I was nervous going into the game, but when I saw how Arsenal were playing today, I was excited, I was gassed. But we're here for a different video, we're not here to talk about Arsenal versus Tottenham, we're here to talk about foot champs this weekend, and we absolutely stunk. I can't lie, we stunk, and if it wasn't for this guy right here, he saved me this weekend. He sa He genuinely saved my weekend. Pulled up in the clutch, done what I had to do, but we're going to get into that more when we get into the gameplay. In terms of everything this weekend, Pushkas was just amazing. Dino was good, Jezinho was okay, it wasn't his greatest weekend. You know, as you can see, he's fallen behind a lot in the goals. It was never this much of a gap before, now he's just really falling behind. Pushkas was amazing, Di Maria, same old, same old for me. And it, it was it was a bad weekend for me, you know. Last weekend we went 16-3, this weekend we started 0-3. So it's like, you could just see the balance, the shift. Maybe the Icon squad needs to return. Maybe I need to just play with Icons and Heroes and add a few additions extra here and there and make some wholesale Icon or Hero changes. Who knows? Maybe we'll have to look into doing that. But we're going to get into today's gameplay. We're going to discuss and kind of see what went wrong, what went right for me this weekend and kind of like just go over how the weekend went for me in total. So we're going to head into the gameplay from this weekend's Foot Champs. So we get into this first game here and... I can't lie, I didn't have any bad feeling going into this first game. I think this is the first game where I was, I think I was what, down, I think I was either down 3-0. You know? I think I was down 0-3 at this point, and this is like the first game I had played uh, since being down 0-3. I came off straight, actually no, I was 2-3 in fact, so we had made it back to 2-3, so five games now, 2-3. And I conceded that goal from Fauna and I was from Bola even and I was just like, okay, cool, whatever. And then I started getting back into the game, getting back into the game, but something wasn't working for me. So I took out Bellegarde. And I just brought in the pool because I felt like Bellegarde is good when he's playing in that central role where Schweinsteiger kind of covers on that left side when I'm defending. But when I need to like go forward off the right or just defend as a right mid more. I need someone like the ball because he's a bit more aggressive, a bit more tenacious. And he works better for me creators wise as well. As you can see, first involvement and he gets an assist straight away. Bellegarde wasn't really doing that for me um, in these first couple games. I don't know what was the issue. I didn't really sell him off that much, but um, I kept him on and he was all right. But here, here sums up FIFA. That was summing up my weekend. Cause why the hell was it three shots happened or f like four or five shots even, and the worst shot goes in. The worst shot goes in. It's like, it just didn't make sense to me. Here again, the pool was just doing things effortlessly in the midfield for me. It made more sense to have him there. Bellegard seems like more of a DM type of midfielder than an actual centre mid. But here, I just worked the ball nicely, waited for the opening, got the goal with Di Maria. And then went into halftime 2-2. I was dominating the hell out of this guy, but I just couldn't get the goals. 2-2. You could see, you could see through the stats that I didn't deserve to be losing this game. It was 2-2 for a reason because it should have been probably about three or four to me. If I'm honest, I was peppering this guy's goal. He had nothing for me. There was absolutely nothing that he could actually do to combat what I was doing. I was hitting him with the basketballs, basketballs. Like there was not, there was nothing for him to really do. Here, work the ball nicely. The pull again. Di Maria scoop turn outside the boot. The pull with two assists since coming off the bench in this game. But this game was, it was harder than it needed to be. Like, it was stalemate for so long. It was up and down, topsy-turvy. He almost scored to make it 3-3, like, multiple times. I think he had about three or four opportunities to make it 3-3. And he just didn't get the chance to you. Like, I was blocking him out defensively. Mascherano was having a blast towards the last couple of minutes of the game. He was pressing me like crazy. Honestly, it was nuts. Here, this is the first game where Pushkas really showed up for me. And from on from this game, after getting that first goal with him this weekend, it was just like cool. Man, man's here now. Man's arrived. Won a penalty late into the first half. Well, not late into the first half. Just a couple of minutes after that goal, actually. Won a penalty. Pushkas does what Pushkas is gonna do. Slaps it inside netting. Full power. Green into the side netting. There's nothing you can do about that. It's just one of the best ways to score penalties that this year. There is another way to score penalties that I've noticed, but I haven't really mastered it. 
there I got caught up moving my goalkeeper and it's now 2-1 but we just kept the ball ticking we kept it rolling oh Di Maria baby scoop turn yeah flicks through your legs outside the boot finish I can't understand I still can't understand to this day why that card is less than 150k why was that SPC so cheap what were EA cooking what were EA cooking when they made that SPC so cheap because I can't lie it's mind boggling. It doesn't make it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. No, no, no. But here we go into our third game of the video. That guy rage quit after the red quit, which made the red card after which makes sense. Here again, Jezinho had the ball over to Di Maria. Nice first time finish with Di Maria. And it's now 1-0 already in this game. One thing I noticed from this week and last week is I wasn't Early moments of the game, nice fast starts. That wasn't happening this weekend. I wasn't blitzing guys in at like the first 10 minutes where I was having two goals and then they'd get one back and I'd get another two goals. I wasn't blitzing people this weekend. I had to kind of work for my goals. I kind of had to earn it. I kind of had to play out. I had to kind of had to be more creative in how I was playing this weekend. I brought in a few different players like Bremer. Look at Pushkas here. I told you lot, that first game when he finally scored, that just, it just said, yeah, you know what, man's here now, I'm ready. Rainbow Flick slapped it in. Here we got a bit unlucky. I'm trying to move the ball forward and then I just get dispossessed. He kind of, he kind of attacks quite well, actually. Got the ball over to Vieira, but same old, same old. The cutback stuff, regardless of whether you read it or not, whether your keeper's in the right position or not, it's still going to go in. I made it 4-1 eventually. I don't know where to go from that from this this clip has gone actually. I'm I'm actually kinda of confused. So we just kept on attacking now. Trying to make it 5-1. Trying to see if we can get into rage quit. McGeady finesse with push cast. He eventually pauses it. And he's gone. So we get up, we get back up, we get onto a good run now. So I think at this point here, I think I'm at my eighth or ninth win. But it's still like very, very tight. It's like there's one loss in it. Where it's like I would win a game, lose a game, win a game, lose a game. Then I win a game. Then eventually I managed to get the two wins in a row that you always need. When you're going for 11 wins, you kind of need that point where you get your two wins in a row before you start going back to losing and winning again. And I got to that point, got my two wins in a row. Di Maria to Jairzinho, finish, goal. I can't lie, Jairzinho wasn't it this weekend. He wasn't really involved this weekend. Here's Pushkas again. I think this is, this is the game that kind of reminded me of last week. Because look, 10 minutes into the game and I've blitzed this guy completely. Look at Pushkas here. Honestly, this was this was the game where like, this, I think this is the game where I got my 10th win. And Pushkas just went mad this game. Pushkas and Di Maria kind of just went mad. Look here. 12 minutes in and I'm completely blitzing him. This is what I was doing last week with the full icon squad. But something just wasn't right this week. Maybe because I changed things up. Maybe because I wasn't really feeling the icons again. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't put my finger on it. But we were blitzing guys this weekend. And that was the game Pushcast actually saved us in. So without Pushcast this weekend, guys, if I'm honest, I genuinely don't think I get 11 wins without Pushcast. Everything was instrumental to him. Without him, a lot of stuff that ha happened this weekend doesn't happen. And that is all for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to smash the like button. Make sure to comment down below if you're still playing FIFA 23. If you're excited for Team of the Year. If you're an Arsenal fan, you know, I want you lot to drop W in the comment section below as well. And do not forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Team of the Year is around the corner, guys. Team of the Year is around the corner. I'm going to try and do as many giveaways as possible on Twitter, on Twitch and everything if possible. So make sure you are following my links in the description and subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, more updates to come, but like I said already, just comment down below if you're still playing FIFA. If you're an Arsenal fan, drop a W in the description, W's only. And do not forget to subscribe if this is your first time round on the j channel. Or if you're, if, if you're even returning, if you're a returning viewer, but you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button. 2023 is going to be a big year, guys. And I'll see you lot on the next video or stream. Peace.